Terracotta planters have been around for ages. In fact, we have been using them for decades. But recently, plastic planters have also become very popular, especially among home gardeners. What makes them so special? And which pot should you buy for your home garden? Terracotta or plastic? Let's find out in this video. Terracotta planters are made of baked clay, which is eco-friendly and also beneficial for the plant's growth. The terracotta wall is permeable, meaning this will allow air and water to pass through. This feature actually helps plants to survive whenever the weather gets rough, both when it's too hot or too cold. Plastic pots, like the name suggests, is of course made of synthetic material or plastic, which is not permeable. But the thing with them is that they come with a lot of holes at the bottom. And the reason they have picked up actually in recent times is because they are very lightweight, especially when you're growing a huge plant in them, it's quite convenient to move them around. When it comes to terracotta, if you're growing a huge plant, it will become very heavy. And especially for home gardeners that stay in apartments these days, plastic pots are just too convenient. But the problem with plastic is that they're not eco-friendly. Instead, so these days in plastic, what options that you get are these geofabric pots. So this is a mix of pet bottle plastic, which is recycled along with fabric pots. Now, when we're talking about grow bags, I also want to introduce you to these jute grow bags. It does not have plastic in them, but in grow bags also these days, you're getting a lot of options in the market. You may have seen artisans craft these wonderful looking terracotta planters with their bare hands. These days in the market nowadays, you can also find terracotta planters designs made using machines. You can easily differentiate between the handmade ones and the machine finish. You can actually use whichever you like, but I will explain the difference behind them. The difference mainly is that the handmade planters have minor inconsistencies in their designs and slightly little bit in the texture as well. As expected, the machine-made planters have a consistent look. The color also may be different. You can choose whichever works. Functionally speaking, there is no difference. The only thing with all kinds of terracotta pots common among them is the drainage hole. You will see that there's one hole at the bottom. For plastic pots, they come molded in different shapes and sizes and different colors, different finishes. You will get a huge range of them in the market. When it comes to pricing of terracotta and plastic pots, unlike their ceramic or metal counterparts, they are usually cheap. But the limitation with terracotta planters is that you would not find anything more than 10 to 12 inch. Mostly they are in medium or small size. Whereas in plastic planters, they are available, I think, up to like two feet in size as well. Plastic, I think, is more budget friendly. My main issue with plastic is that they come with a huge environmental cost. Otherwise, I think staying in an urban place with small space available, plastic is quite convenient to grow any kind of plant. But then again, they are not recyclable and this is a huge cost to the environment. The way to decide is to have that sustainable approach. What I like to do is that I grow veggies because they need a lot of space to grow. I grow veggies in grow bags. So these are recycled plastic bags. When it comes to huge ornamental plants, those I grow in plastic pots, in big plastic pots. And when it comes to small size plants, like I have here, money plant, these I grow in terracotta pots. And this is, I think, my sustainable way of approaching this plastic pot problem. If it's too difficult for you to decide which one to go for, plastic or terracotta, see, plastic is lightweight, cheap, available in different kinds of colors but it comes with a major, major environmental cost. Terracotta on the other side is heavy, but it looks beautiful. I think the orange and green looks beautiful. The only problem is that they chip off over time. But if you're growing like a medium sized plant and you don't have to move them too much, I would say go for terracotta pot. If you have to grow a huge plant, go with plastic pot. I hope this helps. Similar to this video, we have also done other kinds of videos in basic gardening series. Do remember to check them out. Thank you so much for watching.